How are you doing today? Good afternoon. I'm fantastic. I just want to thank you so much, Gary, for doing this interview with me, uh, just to share your information, inspire someone. I'm going to be posing a couple of questions for you, actually three. Uh, One question is, uh, what do you think you can do or what are you doing to inspire people to make the world a better place? Uh, What do you think? The next one is, and I'm going to be editing, Mm -hmm. the next one is, uh, what do you think? other individuals can do and then the next last question is what do you think that people can do as a group to do to make the world a better place okay it's great questions i think the first thing is to be happy every single moment of the day that i possibly can uh i've learned that life is 10 percent what happens to you and 90 percent what you do about it uh if you get up in the morning and say i can't pay my bill you're not going to even try if i get up in the morning and say i gotta find a way to pay my bill you're going to find a way um also, just smile every single day to everybody you meet because no one needs to smile more than one who has none to give. In this crazy mixed up world where everything is so complicated, compassion is needed that's in this world is so confused. So when you walk past somebody and say hello, you can change a second, minute, hour, day, week, month, year. The subconscious mind is the thing that makes us unhappy. It's not the conscious mind. It's all the things that one think we're not good enough, we're not thin enough, we're not pretty enough, we're not smart enough, and we tend to carry that garbage into our adulthood. So what I want everybody to do is what I do every morning is get up in the morning and look at me and tell yourself how wonderful you are. Because the only person who needs to know that is you. And when you start believing that, it's something that's not going to happen overnight, but if you do it on a daily basis, you will truly start to believe that yourself and it will reflect when you meet other people. I also think other people should do the same thing. When I say smile, smiling is infectious. If you walk past stars, if you're in the room and ask someone to smile, try this once. You're in the room with people and say, I want you to start this smile. And look around the room and see how quickly everybody starts to smile immediately. And I want people to just enjoy themselves. I also want you to know this. People who died yesterday had plans for today. That they didn't get a chance to use. And as long as you're still here and you have a chance, make the best of it. That is wonderful, Gary. Now, Gary, tell me who you are. I'm truly trying to still fit. I think that's a lifelong thing. I think I know Gary. In my 20s, I knew Gary, but that ain't the same Gary I knew in the 30s. In the 30s, I knew a Gary, but it's not the same Gary I knew in the 40s. Same with the 50s and 60s. But I think it's, it's a continue, it's continuing effort, excuse me, it's continuing effort to keep trying to figure out who you are. Uh, if you accomplish one point, you reach that plateau, then you head to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. I think spirituality says that you must change. You can't keep doing the same thing and be the same person throughout life because you won't be happy. Uh, change with the times. Know who you are and don't separate from who you are. But everybody should, I would tell people, I don't want you to change who you are. Sometimes you just have to soften the edges just a little bit. That's wonderful, Gary. Now tell me, what organization do you work with? And I know you work with a lot of people. Tell me some of the things that you do. Okay, right now I'm Assistant Director of Central City Churches Outreach Ministries. We're eight churches along Wisconsin Avenue Corridor from east of the river, uh, which is about Plankington Street, up until 30th in Wisconsin, and we're at Our Saviors. We're eight churches, which are Catholic, uh, Methodist, Lutheran, and I think some Pentecostal. Um, we help people on every different level. We help them with housing, with health care, with clothing, with furniture, with the jobs, with going back to school. Um, if we can't get you the answer, after I've been working on these type of projects for over 50 years now. If I can't have an answer to you, I can get you to somebody that can give, get you the answer. Also, I want you to know as, an, as one of our neighbors who people we work for, I'll get you to the door, but you have to go through it. That is wonderful, Gary, because I know I have bought people from my organization, Bridges to Leadership and also Empowering Families, and I can tell you, Gary, we have some success stories. We have people that have got their housing, people that's got furniture and beds and food, and when I first met them, they the head was down. But now I just saw them and they smiling and they glowing and I just want to let you know what you're doing for this community and to make it a better place. And I just want to thank you personally. Thank you for that. A lot of times with people, and you know this yourself, sometimes 
we just need sometimes somebody to pass on the back and say you're on the right right track and you don't know what that just did for me what you just said mm. um because when we go in front of god we want to be able to say when god asks you did you do enough to change people's lives i want to be able to say i did all i could do mm. i know it's not enough but i want to do all i can do and if I do that and somebody else does this, how this world going to change? Don't come back and, and do nothing for me. Do it to the next person who needs the same help that you needed, and the world will change. That is wonderful, Gary. Uh, I was telling you about the camera that I won, yes. and it was really profound for me because I realized that through all these years, I've always wanted somebody else to say that they're proud of me, <laughs> and especially with people that's closest to me. And uh, I realized when I picked that camera up and I'd already said that I was gonna win that camera. And I put in the work and I and I told myself, I'm proud of you. And I just can't remember the last time I did that. You have, and what you just said, speak it to truth. When I tell people go look for a job, don't say, I think I'm gonna say, this is my job when you yep. walk through that door. Yep. Speak it to truth and I just, truly you must speak to God. You have to step to God boldly. Yes. You said if I did this, Lord, this is what was gonna happen. And believe me, that works. Yes, it does. People say it's not that easy, but it is. A lot of times we block our own blessings, and that's what I want us to stop doing. We all have insecurities. We're humans. We can all have insecurities, but don't let the insecurity stop you from making your dream. I want people to dream the biggest dream they can, the largest dream. If you only achieve 50% of that dream, you're going to have a fantastic life. That is wonderful, Gary. So what I want to do in closing is I want to tell you, Gary, how proud I am of you. I thank you very much. I thank you so very much. Okay.